Are you at the point where you learned decent amount of JavaScript and learn enough about web development? Or are you looking for projects just randomly for you to practice so then you can level up your web development skills? Today, we are going to talk about a few projects that I would recommend to help you to level up your web development skills. Everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Vicky May and I am a full-time software developer, a web developer working in New York City. In this channel, you are going to learn so much about learning how to code, web development, and all things related to tech. And also, if you want some quick videos about web development and all different kinds of topics about coding, make sure to check out my Instagram account and also my TikTok account for those contents. Options number one is to build an application that display data from an external API. This is a great starting point to get familiar with how to work with API. It's all up to you what kind of API that you are choosing from. And here is a site that I would recommend you to check it out to find different useful APIs for you to use. The idea for this project is being able to comprehend how to use API and how to get the responses from API and then use either you know JavaScript or whatever framework that you choose to practice with to display those data to the user. The goal of this project is to practice using and fetching APIs and how to use API to display the data. Here are some of the steps that you can follow. Step number one is first of all, choose the API of your choice. Um, I have some suggestions in the link that I mentioned before. You can definitely check out in the description down below. And step number two, make a request to this API and fetch the data from this API. So on your application, you want it to be able to display whatever data that you're getting from to your web app and notice the important part here is to minimizing your styling right now don't pay too much attention to CSS um, you can always do that later the point of this project is actually to practice with API's and finally after you test to make sure that your application actually works and all you have to do is to style your application and just make sure that your UI is presentable to the users and maybe consider also making it mobile friendly Option number two is to actually build your own APIs. If you are mostly familiar with front end, this might sound a little bit challenging, but it's okay. This is not as bad as you think. The goal is that you wanted to have some data and you wanted to be able to display this data through your own APIs so that other developers will be able to fetch that API and use your API that you built on their projects. This is probably the second step on getting more hands-on with APIs and this would be a great second step to what I mentioned before. And don't worry, I have found a few of the YouTube videos for free that will walk you through step by step how exactly you can build your own APIs. Now, pick one of the videos that you like and watch that video and follow that process and build your own APIs with it. Option number three is to build an application with a authentication system. Just like working with APIs are important as part of knowing web development and knowing how to be a good web developer. Being able to authenticate users in your web application is also a very crucial and quite important steps in your journey. The earlier that you can expose to authentication and thinking about implementing that feature in your application, the faster or closer you're gonna become a real developer. When you work as a developer, a user authentication feature is almost like a must have. Like everybody is going to request that feature. It is almost like impossible to escape from. I will link some of the useful tutorials and articles in the description down below to make sure that you find the right resources to help you to kickstart your project with implementing authentication. Option number three is to build an application that connects to the database via an ORM. So what is ORM? ORM stands for Object Relational Mapping. This is where you begin to get into a little bit of the backend for your application. For this project, 
you will be building applications that are connects to a database. Uh, for instance, like PostgreSQL, MySQL, Firebase, MongoDB, etc. Um, for this type of project, you should be build a very simple CRUD. You will be able to learn how to use ORM tools to help you to communicate to the database. I think this is really important. And in the past of my learning journey, I also built one, something like a note-taking app that helped me to perform all those operations in my own applications and obviously don't worry about you know where to find resources i've got you and i am going to give you tons of guidelines and official documentations in the description down below with two types uh prisma or sqlized uh, when i was learning i think i used sqlized and i think that both of them are good you can just pick one again it doesn't matter which one you pick just pick one and go with it what is next? Well, if you build all of these options, all of these projects that I mentioned before, you should be feeling more confident about your web development skills. The next steps you're going to do is combine all of these features that you learned from building all these projects previously into a giant project. That project should combine authentication, working with API, building your APIs, and all of those factors into your projects. And this could be the giant projects or one of the giant projects that you would display on either your portfolio or your resume. Also showcase to the recruiters how much of the actual practical features that you can build as a ready to get hired developer. I would also highly encourage you to check out this video over here that I talked about the projects that you should build to put on your portfolio or your resume to get hired. And until next time, I will talk to you soon. Adios.